Welcome back to Finance Homefront, where we dive deep into the financial world to bring you the latest insights and analysis. Thank you for tuning in today. Before we get started, I want to remind you to hit that like button if you enjoy the content, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on all our future videos. Your support really helps the channel grow and reach more viewers like you. Please keep in mind that while we discuss important financial topics here, I am not offering financial advice. Always do your own research and consult with a professional before making any investment decisions. Now, let's jump into today's topic. The now defunct cryptocurrency exchange FTX has reached a substantial agreement, committing to a staggering sum of $12,700,000,000 to be distributed among investors who suffered financial losses following the exchange's catastrophic bankruptcy in November of 2022. This resolution was sanctioned earlier this week by U.S. District Judge Kevin Castell in the Southern District of New York. The negotiation was a collaborative effort between the Crypto Exchange and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, the latter of which had vigorously pursued fraud charges against FTX in the aftermath of its dramatic collapse. The consent order, which includes a permanent injunction, obliges FTX to disperse $8,700,000,000 as restitution, alongside an additional $4 billion earmarked for other remedial measures. These funds are intended to provide compensation to the victims of what the CFTC described as a massive fraudulent scheme orchestrated by Samuel Bankman Fried, the founder of the now bankrupt exchange. The ruling marks a critical chapter in the aftermath of the FTX debacle, a scandal that sent shockwaves through the global financial markets and further tarnished the reputation of the nascent cryptocurrency industry. The collapse of FTX, once one of the world's leading crypto exchanges, laid bare the vulnerabilities and regulatory gaps in the sector, particularly concerning investor protection and corporate governance. Samuel Bankman Freed, the central figure in this financial scandal, was found guilty of fraud, conspiracy, and money laundering in November of 2023. The verdict came after an extensive month-long trial in New York, where the prosecution detailed the intricate web of deceit and mismanagement that led to FTX's downfall. Bankman Freed's sentencing reflected the gravity of his crimes, with the court imposing a prison term of 25 years and mandating that he pay $11 million as part of the penalty. This financial penalty was separate from the restitution ordered by the CFTC and highlights the scale of the financial destruction caused by his actions. Bankman Freed's conviction is part of a broader legal reckoning for those involved in the FTX scandal. Several other individuals closely associated with Bankman Freed, including key executives from FTX and its sister trading firm Alameda Research, also faced legal consequences. Many of them chose to plead guilty to various charges of fraud in the wake of FTX's collapse, acknowledging their roles in the extensive scheme that defrauded investors and undermined trust in the cryptocurrency markets. CFTC Chairman Rostin Bainam commented on the case, emphasizing the deceptive tactics employed by FTX under Bankman Freed's leadership. FTX used age-old tactics to create an illusion that it was a safe and secure place to access crypto markets, Benham stated in a press release issued on Thursday. He pointed out that the fundamental regulatory tools designed to prevent such disasters, such as proper governance structures, robust customer protections, and effective surveillance mechanisms were conspicuously absent at FTX. This failure to adhere to basic regulatory standards ultimately paved the way for the exchange's collapse and the widespread financial damage that ensued. The task of unraveling the complex financial mess left in the wake of FTX's bankruptcy has been undertaken by John J. Ray III, an attorney with a storied history of managing the aftermath of major corporate bankruptcies. Ray, who is now at the helm of FTX, previously played a significant role in recovering funds from the notorious collapse of Enron, another case that shook the financial world. His expertise is now focused on the Herculean task of attempting to recover as much value as possible for the defrauded investors of FTX. In a related judicial finding, Judge Castell also determined 
that FTX had breached the Commodity Exchange Act, a significant piece of legislation that governs the trading of commodity futures in the United States. The court found that FTX had misled investors by falsely portraying itself as a secure platform for buying and selling cryptocurrencies. In reality, the exchange had been engaging in highly questionable practices, including the commingling of customer assets with those of Alameda Research, its affiliated hedge fund. This commingling of funds not only violated the trust of FTX's users, but also exacerbated the financial losses when the company ultimately failed. The court's findings have added to the growing body of evidence suggesting that FTX's business model was fundamentally flawed, built on a foundation of deception and reckless financial practices. These findings will likely have long-lasting implications for the regulation of the cryptocurrency industry, as regulators and lawmakers seek to prevent a recurrence of such a catastrophic failure. As part of the broader legal resolution, the CFTC reached a settlement with the Bankruptcy Court for the District of Delaware. In this settlement, the CFTC agreed not to pursue civil penalties against FTX, a decision likely influenced by the scale of the restitution and other remedies already imposed on the bankrupt exchange. This decision underscores the complexity of balancing the need for justice with the practicalities of recovering funds for the defrauded investors. The FTX saga serves as a stark reminder of the risks inherent in the cryptocurrency markets, particularly in the absence of robust regulatory oversight. For many investors, the allure of quick profits in the rapidly growing crypto space proved too tempting to resist. But the collapse of FTX has highlighted the perils of investing in unregulated or poorly regulated entities. The fallout from FTX's bankruptcy will likely lead to more stringent regulations and increased scrutiny of the cryptocurrency sector as regulators around the world seek to protect investors from similar disasters in the future. The case also raises broader questions about the role of innovation in the financial markets. While cryptocurrency and blockchain technology hold significant potential to transform the financial industry, the FTX scandal illustrates how innovation can be misused in the absence of proper safeguards. As the sector continues to evolve, it will be crucial for regulators to strike a balance between fostering innovation and ensuring that the basic principles of financial integrity and investor protection are upheld. Looking ahead, the cryptocurrency industry will likely face increased pressure to adopt more rigorous standards of transparency and accountability. The lessons learned from the FTX collapse could serve as a catalyst for much needed reforms not only in the regulation of crypto exchanges, but also in the broader financial ecosystem. As stakeholders, including investors, regulators, and industry participants, reflect on the fallout from FTX, there may be a collective push towards building a more sustainable and trustworthy crypto market. In conclusion, the collapse of FTX represents one of the most significant failures in the short history of cryptocurrency. The massive settlement reached between FTX and the CFTC marks a critical step in addressing the harm caused by this debacle, but it also underscores the need for continued vigilance and reform in the crypto industry. As the sector grapples with the aftermath of this scandal, the hope is that the lessons learned will lead to a more resilient and transparent financial landscape, where investors can participate with greater confidence and security. The story of FTX is a cautionary tale for the cryptocurrency world, a reminder that even in the digital age, the old rules of trust, transparency, and regulation still apply. Thank you so much for watching today's video on the FTX collapse and its far-reaching impact on the cryptocurrency world. I hope you found this deep dive informative and valuable as you navigate the ever-changing landscape of finance. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Finance Homefront for more content like this. Remember, while we discuss crucial financial topics here, this is not financial advice. Always do your own research and consult with a professional before making any decisions. If you have any thoughts or questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. 
I'd love to hear from you. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.